Guiduck is a little different from other clams. They cannot completely close the shells. And the inside of the shell is surrounded by something. Also, even water comes out from the sides of the shell. What is the secret of a gooey duck? Vicious science. Today, I'm going to try Guiduck's anatomy. I got three gooey duck. It is really big. Guiduck is a large shell that lives on the seabed of a quite deep ocean. Their shell is small compared to their large body. Guiduck is a species of bivalve mollusk with two shells. Guiduck has a quite long lifespan of about 140 years. So it is one of the creatures that live longer than humans. If you put a Guiduck in the water, you can see it moving little by little. This part of the Guiduck looks like an elephant's nose. If you look at the end, you can see two holes that look like an elephant's nose. Guiduck has a unique shape, don't they? This long part of Guiduck is developed from the siphon that some other shells have either. Bivalvia would siphon hide themselves inside a hard shell. And if they feel danger, they also hide siphon into their shells. But the Guiduck duck has too big siphon to hide. And even the shell doesn't close. And as you know, inside of their body is surrounded by something. What kind of body structure does Guiduck have? Now, let's take a closer look at the body. First of all, if you take it out from the water and have a look at its big siphon, oh, oh. you can see water comes out of the siphon. The siphon consists of two tubes like straws, where water enters one of the tubes and comes out through the other. Guiduck uses water coming in and out of the siphon to breathe and feed itself. The area that surrounds the inside is called muscular mantle. Although it cannot be completely closed due to its thick muscular mantle, it can avoid attack from its predators because they make holes inside the sand. Especially, Guiduck also pumps the water to the other side of the siphon. What is this hole? Well, let's see the inside more carefully together. Now, let's dissect the gooey duck. First, carefully scratch the inside of the shell with a scalpel and remove the shell and body. The bavalvia holds the shell with adductor muscle, so if you remove adductor muscle here, the shell will fall off easily. And the gooey duck has a shell and muscular mantle surrounded by a membrane called periostricum. Periostricum is a leathery membrane that covers the shell. And Guiduck has a form in which the periostricum expands and surrounds the body. Periostricum is hard to remove when it is alive, but you can remove it easily when it is dead. Periostricum in the siphon part has a wrinkled structure. This is because it needs elasticity when the siphon of a Guiduck tries to stretch. So if you take the shell off from the other side, you can see the inside of Guiduck. If you open the shell and put it on its body, you can see that it really looks like an elephant. The internal organs of a Guiduck are covered with a membrane. So if you cut the membrane and remove it, you can see the internal organs here. This one in front of the siphon is Guiduck's gills. The position of these gills is related to its siphon. If you look at the cross section of the siphon, you can see that the inside of the siphon is made up of two tubes. The gooey duck uses the water flow from the siphon to breathe. So that's why the gills are located in front of the siphon. And the gills also filter out its food, which is then transferred to a region called labial palps behind the gills. And then the food enters the mouth located under the labial palps. The round part below the gills is called visceral mass of the gooey duck, which contains gonads and the digestive system. By the way, Bavelvia have feet. But we cannot see that from Guiduck. Why is that? In fact, Guiduck has feet too. The hole where the is water pumped out is where the Guiduck's feet come out. If you pull the inside of the hole with tweezers, you can see that something is coming out. This is the Guiduck's feet. Guiduck uses its feet to make a hole inside the sand. Finally, 
If you take out visceral mass and look closely, you can see that the foot is located at the bottom of it. Gonads and digestive tract pass through here too. The dark part here is the digestive gland that secretes enzymes. If you cut and open the visceral mass, you can see the area where the intestine passes and the brownish digestive glands in detail. People eat Guiduck and raw mostly, but the inside of the visceral mass is a place where shellfish poison accumulates. So it is good to be careful when eating this part raw. That's the end of the Guiduck anatomy. Guiducks are considered high quality food. How does a Guiduck taste? Boil the Guiduck in boiling water for about 2 minutes and put it right away into the water. Then, peel off the periostracum and cut off the siphon. I'll try this. Well, it doesn't taste special but it is really sweet and very delicious. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe.